Hi, everybody. Cindy Tevens here, the spiritual facilitator that keeps it real and as a result gets real results. I'm also the creator of the Ego to Enlightenment workshop, which is now running. You can join us at egoworkshop.com. And I'm going to answer a couple questions tonight that we've got from our community. And one is, why do we have a movie in the mind? What is the purpose of this in the big picture? Yeah, fair enough question. The other question is, Cindy, you have said first is knowing, second is learning the reality check. Knowing meaning, knowing that there is a movie in the mind and then learning how to do the reality check. So they ask, how do we learn the reality check? Perception is reality. Your perception of something and my perception of something may be totally different. So what do we use as a reality check? As my reality may not be the same as someone else's. Help, really confused. Great. Great questions tonight, really super stuff. I'm looking forward to diving in. And I'm just gonna go and share this into the group to make sure that uh, anybody in the group will be seeing it, not missing it. And this is a video that you can also share if you find that there's value in the topics that we're talking about. Anything from ego to enlightenment, please feel free to share it anywhere. If you want to get more out of what we're doing here, though, this workshop, it has got these videos, it has got question and answers uh, live in the group, then please join theegoworkshop.com and you'll get access to the Facebook group of wonderful community of amazing, compassionate, and caring people who will support you, and I will support you, and they will support you because that's what we do. So here we go. I'm sharing it into that group right now. Hey, Carol, thanks for joining. And there's Roberta. Hello. Thanks for showing up here on a Friday night, 10, 15 p.m., a little later than I thought. But uh, I took advantage of the good weather because apparently we're going to have a week of rain here in Ottawa. And I don't mind that either. So there's a time to make hay and there's a time to plant seeds and there's a time to walk. All right. So back to the questions. First question, why do we have a movie in the mind? So if you've been following my work or this workshop, you will have you know sort of discovered that we have what's actually going on, the things that we're seeing, hearing, touching, tasting, smelling. And then we have a movie in the mind that happens simultaneously. And when we are an unconscious is when we are fully absorbed in the movie in the mind and really not cognizant of what's actually going on around us. So for example, someone might say to you, you cut your hair. And that's what was heard. Those sounds were what was heard. But what you may have heard was, he hates my hair. Oh my God, he never likes anything. I knew I shouldn't have gone to that hairdresser. <laughs> okay, so what you're hearing is a movie in the mind. You're, so, and what we quite often get, well, what we always get riled up over is the movie, not the reality. And what we quite often do is replace the reality with the movie. So we're not even aware of, and we remember the movie, not the reality because we weren't paying attention to the reality. Okay, so the question is, why do we have a movie in the mind? What's the purpose of this in the big picture? So there's the reality and it's what is. And then there's the movie and it's what is not. Really, it is what is not, except as a movie. Sort of like if you went to a movie theater and you watched a movie, it, there's all kinds of stuff appearing to happen on the screen, but it's not happening right? It's not happening as anything other than a movie. So this capacity to have a movie in the mind is completely disjointed, disconnected from the reality. It doesn't have to match the reality one iota, not one iota. Sometimes it tries to point to the reality and it's more in alignment with the reality, but it still is not the reality. It's still a movie could be a moving, a moving a movie or could be a still movie, either way. A moving movie would be, you know, you, you think somebody 
who put something in the stove uh, and maybe they didn't. Or you think somebody wiped the whole counter because you saw them wiping one corner. But your movie in the mind says they wiped the whole counter and then you find later they didn't. So they are completely disjointed and at first that seems like not a good thing because we get lost in the movie, we get confused, we think it's real, okay? And it causes trouble for us when we do that. But if we didn't have the capacity to imagine something that didn't exist, nothing new would ever come into creation. For example, the light bulb didn't exist before somebody imagined it and tried to see if they could make it exist. And so it would be kind of weird and kind of boring here if we only had what we had and could never have anything else. Be a very strange experience, but maybe this is a strange experience too. You might be realizing that by now. So, so there's a creative capacity for it. And that's valuable. It's also something that is looking out for you. So if you once passed by a cave and there was a lion in it and you survived, then you would have a movie in your mind associating caves with lions. And that would be a good thing. So the next time that you came up to a cave, you might not just meander on in without thinking twice. And so it helps us learn. It takes care of us. But where it goes wrong is when we mistake the movie in the mind for the reality, when we are not paying attention, when we're not discerning. Okay, hope that answers that question. I'm going to see if anybody alive has a question. Well, hello, Louise. Good evening. Hello, Marion. Thanks for joining. All right, question number two. And I'll take up to four questions and do them in 40 minutes or less if I can. But we only have two questions tonight. So I don't think we'll have any problem handling these in a nice short period of time. So that said about the movie in the mind, I have said in the group, somebody else heard me say, the first important thing is to know, A, there is a movie. Most people don't know. They don't know. They didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay. First, you need to recognize that we have this thing called a movie and that in the moment you need to recognize there is one and you need to do what I call the reality check is to see the difference between the movie and what is, what is real. So that <laughs> wisdom can kick in. You realize, okay, that's a movie playing from something stored, a memory or something past. The point is it doesn't matter uh, if it's a memory or it doesn't matter. What matters is you realize it's not the real. Okay, it's not the real. So this person goes on to ask, how do we learn the reality check? Perception is reality. Okay, this is an assumption that has not been checked. <laughs> perception is reality. Mm. Your perception of something and my perception of something may be totally different. Not true. Your movie in the mind maybe and probably is totally different from my movie in the mind but the reality is shared okay and use that word for now the reality is shared if there were three people in the room and one were speaking the words that they speak the actual words okay will be the same for both what you believe they said how you took it and turned it and twisted it in the mind, which is what we do unconsciously without knowing it. You may call your perception, but it's not actually your perception. It's your movie. It's your distortion. Your direct and immediate perception is you can't twist it. You can't distort it. It is what it is. So what do we use as a reality check? Your senses. This is why I teach you to come to your senses and we practice that. What are you actually seeing, hearing, touching, tasting, smelling? And when people first start to do this, you may be shocked. Shocked at how different the movie in the mind is from what is. 
and how you have been living in the movie in the mind and not living the reality. And that's okay. Don't go into a movie in the mind about it. It's you need to realize it once. Once is enough. And that's it. And from thereafter, use the senses, use your direct perception, not a movie in the mind. Hope that helps. Okay, any questions on that from anybody live right now? <laughs> Elaine says, don't you sleep? Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> I actually sleep. I sleep very good when I sleep. I get probably at least four to five hours sometimes of what we call deep sleep, which is no uh, dreams. So no disturbances, very solid. And, um, and I get more than that too, but I get, it's the deep sleep that really counts the most for people. And don't you sleep? What are you doing here? <laughs> You're not in such a far out time zone from me, I don't think. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, any questions on that? Otherwise, I'll let you go. We did, uh, wow, look at that. Probably two questions in under 20 minutes. So that's about par for course. I usually do four in 40. So anybody else? Questions on anything? I'll throw it wide open. I am here for you when I do these live broadcasts. Take advantage. Ask whatever you like to ask. Now's your chance. Otherwise, we'll wait till tomorrow. <laughs> I expect I'll be on tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be on on Sunday. Um, because I will, I'm planning a bit of a road trip. Sometimes I broadcast from a road trip too. That could be fun. But uh, for now, hi Marla. For now, uh, for tomorrow for sure. And we'll see from there. So if you get any questions between, uh, now, and the next time we meet, yeah, post them in the group. There'll be a place to post the next questions. And I go right there to grab them every time. So, uh, no questions seen. Oh, wait, wait, Carol. Yeah, Carol says, and keep in the senses to stay out of everybody else's movie. You cannot be in anybody else's movie. You cannot be. You don't even know what the movie is. The movie runs within this body mind. It's the illusory world. We have close to 8 billion people on this planet. One planet, same planet, but almost 8 billion different movies are running and they clash and they collide and that's why we're in such horrible shape that we are and that's why the earth is being ravaged and not being cared for. And so this is why I do this work, right? For the sanity and happiness of humanity. So. You can't be in someone else's movie. You may notice or mind read that they're in a movie, but you cannot be in their movie. And if you think you're in their movie, you're actually in your movie about your idea of their movie. <laughs> okay, so stay in the senses, stay out of your movie, take care of yourself, forget about others. There aren't any others anyway. Every, we're all the same. But that's another topic, <laughs> totally. Another day, okay. Stay out of your movie. Forget about others because they just exist in your movie. They don't exist anywhere else. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And until next time, you know what to do. Keep it real and enjoy yourself. Yeah. Just because you can. No other reason needed. We'll talk more about that later too. All right. For now, thanks for joining. Thanks for being here. Keep it real. <laughs>